Sweet. Okay. I think we're, we're live. Hello. Yo, what is, what is up everybody here with, uh, David Jones. He's the, the king of fingerboard week and it hasn't yeah. gone live for me. It hasn't gone live for you. It takes a minute no, I'm to get trying to watch it. It takes a while to get to <laughs> New Zealand. Oh, right. Right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, but I think we're live, but yeah, we're here with David Jones and yeah, he's the king of, king of fingerboard week. If you guys haven't seen his videos yet, definitely have to oh, go check them yeah. out. I've, uh, oh, we're live. Looks good. You look yep. good. Man. <laughs> um, yeah, but we're going to talk to David. We're also going to answer some of your questions. So if you guys have any questions for David about fingerboarding um, or YouTube or snowboarding or living in New Zealand or any of those things, uh, hit us up in the, in the live chat. Um, but yeah, we'll get to some yep. questions later, but, uh, David, man, how is, uh, well, yeah, let's give, let's give people the overview. You've been the last week, you put up a fingerboard video a day, seven days, a full fingerboard yeah, week for a week, for nice. seven days. Yep. And each video has That's been it. like <laughs> absolutely like crushing it as well. Like doing super well. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And, yeah. uh, I've watched every video and I, I can see like people are like so passionate about it um but yeah just <laughs> yeah. uh just congrats on yeah congrats on getting a video up every day for seven days that's like uh was oh, that a lot of work you, Kevin. was that tough was that was that yeah. a lot of work yeah a lot of people don't really know like yeah i know because i get so many comments like like oh just make fingerboard week fingerboard month and i'm like yeah. oh you don't think you understand how hard it is because like yeah. i take because if you don't uh, some people notice but yeah. I take um, a lot of the videos are projects that span more than one day. Yeah. So you can't really just go and film that straight away. Right. So fingerboard week is really like fingerboard two, like fingerboard two weeks Yeah. for me, because it takes me two weeks to produce fingerboard week. Because the yeah. first week is filming and doing all of the projects. The second was well, like kind of doing half of all of them. Then the second week is completing all of them and completing the edit and uploading it. Oh, so it's really a two week kind of thing. Yeah, because because you could just do a, a fingerboard video in an hour where you sit down and you like do some tricks on the fingerboard. But your oh, videos yeah, aren't like that. that. Your videos are like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, your videos are like productions. There's like a storyline. <laughs> there's like a whole yeah, like a subplot, uh, like a yeah. <laughs> there's a climax to the story. And <laughs> There's also like a project in the works as well. So, so would you, yeah, is it like one video takes two days or like even more? But then on top oh, of that, there's also like probably more, yeah. probably more. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's like, a, it's like a most like, and you take, and you gotta take like a day off or two. So it may, it may take you like three weeks to make fingerboard. Week. Oh, no, during fingerboard week, there are no days off. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I tried stay to get hard, Kevin. Stay hard. <laughs> I tried to get David on here for uh, a talk earlier. I was like, "Yo, David, you want to you want to get on to uh, just talk about fingerboard week?" And you're like, "Nah, man, I got, I'm, I'm busy." I'm like, yeah. I'm like I'm busy. The only busy person during the quarantine. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome though because it's like perfect. It's like the perfect quarantine like thing to yeah. do. His fingerboard, it but took even up two weeks, and it, it felt like that for me. Like, amazing. And now we're two weeks into it, and like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you've been in quarantine then for a month now. Has it been a month? Yeah, a month. Yeah, and we're gonna be coming out of it. Well, not fully coming out of it. We're kind of like taking down the restrictions next week. Okay. So like, not not a lot's gonna change, but you're allowed to go surfing. So that's cool. Oh, sweet. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I guess like for us, like for, for YouTubers, we, we naturally spend a lot of time indoors anyway. Like editing. Oh, yeah. it hasn't, it hasn't really felt like a whole lot of change for me. Cause I got yeah. back from, um, <clears throat> we got back from America or Canada and like I had to edit all of those videos. So that took a week and yeah. then I was like, Oh, well, let's do fingerboard week. And then I started it, making the videos for that and then yeah. editing them. So wow. it doesn't feel like a whole lot's changed. Just I can't really go out to get supplies if I need them. I have to make it work for stuff I have in my house. Yeah. Yeah. 
So the only, yeah, the only, the biggest drawback for, for you and I, I guess, like I'd be snowboarding at the moment and you'd be surfing and, and probably skateboarding. Well, too. I'd be snowboarding. I'll admit I'll be in Whistler with you. Right oh now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. So this was kind of a, well, this was, you know, the silver lining of, of this like tragedy is that fingerboard week happened. Um, <laughs> otherwise yeah, be, yeah. we, yeah, we were supposed to be snowboarding until like mid you're gonna stay till like mid may in whistler yeah pretty much yeah oh man so we'll, we'll just have to make up all that snowboarding that's right yeah that's right but who cares about <laughs> who cares about snowboarding though back to uh fingerboard fingerboard week um <laughs> oh yeah we should tell the people behind the the crown too because um i hope you don't mind i was like hesitant to put the, the crown what? on your the crown and the thumbnail did you oh, see on the, th- the thumbnail right yeah yeah i saw that yeah so I was kind of <laughs> hesitant to do the crown, but then I remembered that um, you did the exact same thing to me about three years ago, I guess. Yeah, and... when I have 400 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't even know you then. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> How many views does that video have now? Do you know? I don't know. <laughs> I, okay. haven't, I haven't checked. Well, hopefully that video has no like... idea, actually. Uh, hopefully that video has 100,000 views because this one maybe may get a few thousand but um, um yeah i was gonna yeah. get make a guess of how much it has but i have, I have no idea <laughs> yeah do you want to tell people like the story behind the uh the crown where that came from the crown well i made a video when i very first started making vlogs i made a video of the top snowboard vloggers and like and kevin was in it obviously he was like the only there was, it felt like there was only around five of us yeah and kevin was the biggest so i put a picture of him as the thumbnail with a burger king crown photoshopped on him <laughs> yeah nice do they call it burger that's king in new zealand too it's, it's not hungry jacks no that's only australia okay sorry um, yeah because burger king the name was already taken in australia so they yeah. had to change it <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah the cool thing with that crown because i remember watching that video that's kind of like that's one of the videos that got us connected was I saw you make that video and I'm sure we started yeah. talking on Instagram or something after that. Um, yep. And then a bunch of snowboard um, trips ended up, but yeah, what I actually, was it? it was that video, then the New Zealand season, the rest of it. And then yeah. I went to America yep. and then like halfway through the American trip in Colorado, we, that was the first time we rode. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But uh, just to let you know, I actually took the same crown that you photoshopped it's the on same my. One? It's the exact same one, yeah. Oh. From like I just took a screenshot and uh, yeah, got the same one. So oh, like I don't right. know, I don't know if you actually are the, like I haven't counted up all the fingerboard views out there, but in my mind, you're the the king of fingerboarding. Well, it says the king of fingerboard week, right? Oh right, yeah, yeah. fingerboard week, yeah. <laughs> I'm the only one that does fingerboard week. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so I hope I am. Yeah. yeah, you definitely are. Do you think that <laughs> do you think that fingerboarding is actually bigger than snowboarding? I think it's bigger on YouTube because it's a lot more accessible. Okay. Like a lot like it you don't need to go out, like you can do it sitting at your desk at home. Yeah. So a lot more people do it. Or like have time to go watch YouTube videos of it. <laughs> yeah. What do you think the uh, like snowboarding? You... Yeah. Wait. No. Go on. <laughs> I was just gonna ask you like, what do you think the uh, the progression? How long does it take to progress at fingerboarding? Like, how long would it take me to learn to to do a kickflip on a fingerboard compared <laughs> to a skateboard? Uh, oh, compared to a skateboard? Oh my gosh, you could learn to do a kickflip on a fingerboard in an hour. Not and... even an hour. I'm pretty sure T. What? Andreas did one like within 20 minutes. Oh. <laughs> like, not so like it, a real one, but like he yeah. made it work. <laughs> so yeah, it's like super accessible. Anyone can buy a fingerboard and yeah, yeah. You can learn the tricks like infinitely faster than you could in real life on a skateboard. Yeah. On a feet board, I mean. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> on a feet board, yeah. Nice. Um yeah, you should, you should, can you tell the, can you tell the people the story of how <laughs> this finger- guy in the comments, he said, snowboarding is bigger, 
I mean, yeah, but on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but also, like, yeah, snowboarding is bigger that we know of. But oh yeah, of I would like snowboarding's bigger. It's in the Olympics. Is that even an argument? But we need to see, we need to see, I want to see sales. I want to see sales of snowboards versus sales of fingerboards. Oh, snowboarding is way bigger. They're an actual, like, there's actual snowboard corporations and stuff. There's no fingerboard corporations. Oh, there <laughs> Apart isn't? From tech deck. <laughs> there's tech deck, but how many boards a year does tech deck sell? I feel like they'll sell a lot. I have no <laughs> idea. I have no idea about all of this stuff. I'm just guessing. I want, I want the numbers. <laughs> Uh, well, because because anybody can just let be... me just call my contact at Tech Deck real quick. There you go. Yeah, you can sell it. Yeah. You, if anybody could find idea. out, it's you. Um, well, because <laughs> because anyone can fingerboard in their basement or in their bedroom, where snowboarding you have to like wait for winter, and you have to be exactly, close yeah. to resort. It's kind of like yeah. It's kind of like soccer. Like a- anyone could grab like a ball or not even just like a. A ball of yarn and kick it around and like play soccer um yeah yeah so i don't know i'm kind of curious but yeah youtube it's definitely it's definitely blowing up um it's just because it's more accessible yeah <laughs> so, yeah and it's cheaper too it's what how much does uh well yeah a tech deck's does, like two dollars <laughs> oh wow okay well i think so maybe three dollars i'm talking about american money in new zealand <laughs> they're like seven dollars okay yeah. <laughs> usd in real money they're like seven dollars yeah okay <laughs> um and yeah you got your own pro fingerboard as well congratulations man I- uh it's, it's, a, it's a pro fingerboard it's like it's kind of just a collaboration with this brand calier fingerboards but i just called it pro in the video to get more views <laughs> Dude, it is it, it's legit i actually i it's, went to, i went to buy one right but they're all they're sold out oh really yeah damn <laughs> we're gonna i think we might do more so i'll okay. let you know when uh when that's gonna happen oh man that's uh that's a <laughs> yeah. that's that's crazy yeah i wonder so how yeah. do you know do you know how many they started out with how many have sold? uh we only had i think we only had 100 okay there's only 100 decks and, and they sold out within 30 minutes i think <laughs> wow yeah <laughs> that's awesome man i cool. know it's crazy i couldn't believe it <laughs> <laughs> the tony pork like posts a comment on the video 30 minutes in like oh oh, sorry guys (laughs) wow cool man (laughs) can you uh can you tell the people how the fingerboard your fingerboard youtube career started because it kind of started uh it kind of like got kicked off with um yeah like that unfortunate like you getting injured in snowboarding and then it's not actually it's not okay it's not no, I don't, I don't it first even... started off the U- yep. on YouTube. You can find the very first video of me playing with a fingerboard in the in the um the season where I went to Whistler and hung out with you and Matt. Okay, that's the first time I bought a fingerboard in a YouTube video, and I was playing with it. And there's actually like yeah, so it oh. started off then. Then I went back to New Zealand and I made one video called like fingerboard park in one day. And I just uploaded that, like, just because, like, oh, it was a funny video. I made a fingerboard skate park. And yeah. then, I'm then, like, years go by, and that video is done really good. It has, like, over a million views. And then I was like, huh, well, people actually like fingerboarding, so maybe I'll do another video. Then I made yeah. a video called 100 Tricks on a Fingerboard, and I did that, and then that did really good. And it's, And then, yeah, and then I hurt myself. <laughs> like, oh, okay yeah so in in Kadrona during the snowboard season i tore my acl which if you didn't know is a uh a nine month recovery so it's pretty much the whole year yeah i mean i pretty much took the whole year off because i had to wait for winter to come back anyway so i was yeah. trying to struggling to see tr- kind of struggling on ideas or what to do and then uh three months before i could go snowboarding I met, I did this thing called fingerboard week and that yeah. took my channel from like, cause I was stuck at a hundred thousand. Like I wasn't moving much. That took yeah. my channel from a hundred thousand to 200,000. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and like that small amount of time, I was like, Oh, <laughs> wow. Crazy. Man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cause we were in Japan when you hit a hundred K, right? 
No, I got no. It was like the week after I got okay. back from Japan. Okay. Yeah, I mean it was close. It was pretty. Yeah. Much. Uh, yeah. And then. Uh, so that was pretty crazy. <laughs> and then yeah, you kind of spent. Uh, well, you you spent a few months like kind of making different creative style videos, and. Um, yeah. I mean, so I still that, do those. That's why like, what my videos are right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like just fun lifestyle videos. And, yeah. um, and then, yeah, then you hit on the fingerboard week and it blew up. And then, so when we saw you in, what was it like the first week of March, when were we in bear? Like, yeah, that was the March the 15th. Yeah. So almost, I guess almost two years, a little over two years later than you had the 200, uh, 300 K. Yeah. Two years? That's one year. One year, sorry. One year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that's sick, man. That's amazing. Um, cool. Yeah. yeah, it's incredible, dude. So yeah, and now yeah, fingerboard week three has happened. So you've had three fingerboard weeks, right? Yeah, I've done well technically I've done four. Okay. But I've only called I've called them like fingerboard week one, there's two, three, and then this one I've just called isolation edition <laughs> because i i don't want to call it fingerboard week four because i want fingerboard week four to be even better okay and i don't think this week was i mean like i performance wise yeah, yeah but like i feel like i could do better if i can go out into the world and get stuff that i want for fingerboard week right but i can't go to bunnings i know <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah bunnings warehouse is like the corner stone of fingerboard week. that's right um for people watching that don't know it's kind of like um a home depot uh it's like the australian home oh, depot yeah. that's in new zealand it's the same thing yeah it's just a and, hardware store yeah and the, the big like allure i think of fingerboard week too is all the diy projects where you create some kind of yeah. like cool ramp or half pipe or pretty much every video is a diy thing yeah <laughs> yeah no i think that's what make, makes it good um have you had any boards that you made in the in the videos that like turn you like they turn out in the video, but you it took you like a bunch of tries to get it right? Any boards? Yeah, yeah. Um Is there any I made like a carbon I made a finger board out of carbon fiber. Okay. And I had to do that a couple times. I had to go like I made the first one and I was like, oh, this kind of sucks. So I was like all right, we're going to do another one, but I didn't have enough stuff. So I had to order it online and then that arrived and then I had to make it again and hope it worked. Okay. And it did. So that's good. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Cause in that one, I think that's was... the only one that I've had to redo though. Okay. Cause the, the carbon seemed to work pretty good. Cause carbon fiber is like, was it that it, it was only strong, like in one direction, not like both directions. Was that the problem? Mm, no, I made it way too thin. Okay yeah and what about the toilet paper fingerboard because i didn't think that would work at all but that seems nah, like that it, worked it, for a try <laughs> <laughs> nice i knew what I, I knew what i was doing with that one <laughs> did, it, did it dissolve once it hit the water in the in the toilet no because i made it with re epoxy resin okay so it's pretty much like fully sealed nice it's like you could call it like technically it's a toilet paper fingerboard, but it's almost like all the structure and everything comes from the resin. Okay. Like the toilet paper is just there to keep the shape, like while it's setting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Nice. All right. Sweet, man. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. Really impressive. Oh, I yeah. really love the, uh, the longest fingerboard as well. That was, oh, that, thanks. that was a cool yeah, one. That videos. Yeah. That video did pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I was impressed too, because it actually like, it actually worked. Like you were getting some tricks with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was surprised by that. That's probably the hardest thing I've done, like fingerboard wise. Nice. Like that's the hardest board I think I've ever used. <laughs> it's so tricky to do tricks on. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Um, cool, man. What about uh? You know what's good about isolation, like right now? What's that? I posted that thing, that episode, that like series of fingerboard week. Yeah. And I never got one comment saying go snowboarding because <laughs> whenever i see those comments i'm like ah i do want to go snowboarding <laughs> yeah yeah but i've got i can't I've got, and no one else can so no one cares 
Yeah, nobody's yeah, nobody's calling you out for not snowboarding. Um, I've actually been <laughs> I've I've gotten a few comments of people saying, "Why don't you just go snowboarding?" And I'm really? like, yeah. I'm like, come on, man. I'm uh, I know, right? We're in quarantine. Um, somebody yeah. said somebody I told me some like. Yeah, yeah, not going. Yeah. Oh, somebody just told me recently. They're just like, "Why don't you just hike the mountain behind your house and go snowboard?" I'm like, if only. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess I could, but. I mean, Andreas and stuff have been doing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they did a pretty, they did a very mellow, yeah, run. Um, what yeah. were you, what were you gonna say before? I forgot. What was I gonna say? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but yeah, no, I think if I come, yeah. <laughs> For anybody watching this uh, too, just uh, yeah, definitely check out David's channel. Uh, check out, he's got merch for fingerboard week and he also has, um, yeah, those pro fingerboards, which once they get back in stock, I'm definitely gonna, gonna order one up. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we should, uh, so, okay. So beyond fingerboarding, we have, yeah, we've both been in. Yeah, let's talk about something that's not fingerboarding. Cause I'm sure yeah. a lot of the audience that's here right now our yeah. snowboarders. <laughs> we'll get back to fingerboarding when we get some we get some uh into the QA part of the, yeah, the video. Yeah. Um but yeah, snowboarding. So do you think because right now uh Canada, we can't actually travel outside of Canada to the US no. or to overseas. I'm sure it's like that for New Zealand as well. But do you yeah. think if if things go back to normal, like um yeah, what do you what do you think the timeline is for New Zealand going back to normal? um hmm. like, do you it think, feels like do you think we're, i feel like we're gonna go back to normal within our country a lot sooner than maybe the american continent okay that's just a guess though like it seems like we're doing all right we got two new cases yesterday okay. <laughs> that's not bad yeah wait no no it was five yesterday it was two i think it was three the day before yep yeah so and if you put that in contrast with <laughs> The American continent. I feel like we're doing all right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's pretty good. <laughs> so you think that uh, snowboarding in uh, on the South Island yeah, so will, New, will open up? Yeah. Yeah, in New Zealand we have um these different levels. So we have like level four, which is everyone's locked down in their house. And then next week we go into level three, which is everyone's in their house and stuff, but some small businesses can open. So they're thinking that if it goes down to level two before the snow season, the snow resorts can open within level two. And okay. I'm pretty sure that's going to happen. So, yeah. Okay. So if I fly to New Zealand, are they going to let me in? Do you know? You're going to have to quarantine, I think. That's if they re they haven't reopened the borders to like travelers okay. yet. But when I do... That's because we haven't even... We, yeah. We're not even <laughs> back to normal yet. <laughs> yeah. So there's a chance that if I go to... New Zealand to snowboard, then it'll be like two weeks chilling out in the Airbnb before actually getting yeah. out of the house. Okay. I mean, I don't really know. Like, I'm not like super knowledge, like well knowledge about this. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure it's it's gonna be like if you come to New Zealand, you're gonna have to quarantine for like 14 days. Okay. I feel like it's gonna be like that until the whole world's back to normal. Right. So it's gonna be. That's just me guessing, though. Oh yeah. It's going to be tricky. Because um, there's no point in like opening the border and then everyone coming here and then it, like, the virus spreads in New Zealand again. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. What about anywhere overseas that you want to snowboard uh, this summer? Like I know South America is an option. There's also the glaciers. Yeah, I really wanted to go to Europe. Chile. Yeah. Europe would be funny. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. um. Where Which else? one? It's, what what would be the first choice of uh, summer what, for the, or, or your for winter summer. snowboard destination? Your summer, my winter. Yeah. Um. Probably. Right now, probably Kadrona. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, but if you're not talking about like New Zealand, then Chile. Sweet. I think I think we'll make that yeah. happen. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe It'd be fun. Yeah. Cause after, you know, after all these days indoors and you did the fingerboard week and it can't be fingerboard a week every week. So mix in, yeah. we got to get outside. We got to get outside snowboarding, skateboarding, surfing yeah. and all that stuff. Um, 
If I come to New Zealand, it would be cool to do some surfing as well. Can you do surfing on the South Island in winter? Oh, yeah. It's just really cold. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. That's, that's kind of like, that's like surfing in, in North America all, oh, yeah. all, the, like, all the time. It's like the same thing. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, I've never surfed over there, but it's pretty cold, right? <laughs> like Japan, yeah. That's pretty cold. <laughs> yeah. It is. Have you been, have you been to Europe to some of the glaciers in, in your winter months? Have you done that before? No. 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 Okay. Because I just never really seen why I would. <laughs> <laughs> just because I'm in New Zealand, I can go have real winter. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That, no, that's true. Have you uh, have you had the <laughs> chance? Have you have you got any word from anyone at Cardrona? Like, any connections with um, any news? I mean, that's all I know. I know that. Okay. I'm pretty sure they've made the statement that they could open within level two. Okay. But I saw that on a Facebook article, so I don't know how reliable <laughs> reliable it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. Crazy. Okay. Well, hopefully we can get back into it. Um, also yeah. on snowboarding, any highlights, uh, from the winter season? I know like this was your first, uh, first winter back yeah. on the, on your board. Yeah, I only had, yeah. Highlights the whole thing, the whole it's thing been crazy <laughs> this season. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I guess we did. Like, uh, it was Japan and then yeah. there that's, that's it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I it guess, was like, it was so much fun. It's probably the most fun snowboarding I've had, I think. Sick. Um, I, I wish people would watch my snowboard videos. <laughs> <laughs> I put so much work into them. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd agree. Like that Japan trip for me was probably one of the most fun trips. And like the powder was insane. And just the whole yeah. crew that we had there. Was there, yeah, yeah. was there anything that from Japan that stands out? Um, do we have any like crazy um, stories from Japan? Anything crazy happen? Kind of. I mean, well, yeah. There's like uh when we got to Japan, we were staying at this uh little kind of what was a house within this community. And we I was watching I watched this guy called Jamie O'Brien. He's a famous he's like a really famous surfer. And I was like, oh and he makes YouTube videos. He's a real big YouTuber as well. Yeah. And I was watching one of his videos and he had a drone shot. And I was like, oh wow that place looks really familiar. <laughs> then the drone shop flew around this community and then we saw our cars parked there. <laughs> yeah. like, oh my gosh, we're living in the same place. So I sent him a message on Instagram and he's like, oh, let's hang out. And we ended up, we were like a house down from him. Wow. <laughs> like, which is crazy because Jamie O'Brien, like if you're into surfing and stuff, he's like a big name. <laughs> like, I used to watch him like all the time when he had the Red Bull show. Oh, it was J-O-B. Yeah. So that was pretty, it felt pretty wild. Like, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's like having Tony Hawk, like, down the street. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Wow. That's, like, probably my biggest regret from the trip is, like, I didn't know who uh, Jamie O'Brien was. Like, I think I had heard of the name, but I didn't know that he did YouTube videos. So, like, after that trip, I started watching his videos, and I was like, man, I, sh I wish we had to set something up with him for to collab on a video or something like that. I'll do it next year. <laughs> next year. Definitely next year. Yeah. Um, yeah. What about, what about, surf, cool. what about surfing in Hawaii? Have you ever done that or do you have any desire I've to never go to, been Hawaii? to Hawaii? I've never surfed anywhere apart from New Zealand and once in Thailand. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's pretty cool because you have, well, it's tropical. It's, it's warm. The water's warm. The waves are normally yeah really good and there's you know from very beginner to the most difficult oh, wave yeah. on earth or one of them and uh it's also Surfing in america like it's, yeah it's also in america, it's america. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> no definitely surfing in somewhere that has like tropical water is yeah. definitely a dream because i've only ever surfed well in thailand i had this i could surf it's like really warm but in yeah. new zealand you have to wear a wetsuit pretty much apart from like there's like a small window in summer where you can surf without a wetsuit but it's still okay. not as warm as other places yeah yeah you start to get like um your hands start to go I numb go to a little bali. bit bali that's where i want to go yeah bali would be cool too yeah. um Have you been, you've been to bali no i've never been to bali i've been to 
um oh. Th- thailand i guess is yeah i think thailand's the only kind of tropical I place it's pretty similar. okay it's similar cool. without like the waves and stuff although bali is a different religion like, yeah. uh, oh they're or okay cool i'm not um, sure they want to yeah i don't know and then the other big snowboard trip, which was the one of the two, was uh, was Bear, and Bear was super fun as well. And that was like your your introduction yeah, back crazy. into park riding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Bear was. If I was gonna like say which was my, it's definitely one of the best snowboard trips I've been on. Like even though like it was us just riding slushy park the whole time. Yeah. Just like, not even talking about the snowboarding, like the actual trip yeah like that was so much fun (laughs) it was the town the town of bear big bear is incredible i know yeah like uh i think it's it's pretty cool (laughs) yeah yeah like but i just mean like we we kept having these experiences where we would kind of look at each other like is this really happening like this is so this is so amazing i know that whole the last um what the last the last three days or so or like four days within like that america trip was like the craziest time i think that was the craziest week of my life wow amazing yeah. so if any of you are watching this that are fingerboarders and don't watch my snowboarding videos go and watch those america snowboard videos because they're pretty cool <laughs> well i think they are i put a lot of work into them <laughs> yeah no they're amazing and they're like hilarious but we also just sought out like the most incredible situations too i know well let's go through it let's go through um <laughs> let's start at uh where it started to become crazy okay we got to la yeah <laughs> the first day we snowboarded in the morning <laughs> like we're gonna go through the mugging <laughs> oh yeah yeah let's do it let's do I it i put like a little bit of it in the video but i didn't put enough for people to like really understand what was going on we're not yeah. gonna go through all of it but I'll give you yeah. the small details yeah so we, we snowboarded in the morning at Big Bear, which was the ride for Jake Day, which is pretty cool. Yep. And then we drove from Big Bear to LA. And when we got to LA, we were staying at where were we, the Marriott. No. Yeah, the Marriott. Marriott, yep. The Marriott and Marina Del Rey, which I thought was crazy to start off with. But apparently that was one of the cheaper hotels. It was, Yeah, it was a reasonably priced hotel for yeah, the a location. Hotel that wasn't like super dodgy. so we're staying at there which i thought was crazy and then that night we were like oh well let's just go for a walk to venice beach should we leave should we leave out the names of uh the people involved oh yeah yeah apart from tj because everyone knows he was there yeah (laughs) we were trying to act like tj wasn't there (laughs) (laughs) we're with this dude he was wearing this keystone hoodie i'm not sure who he was (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so we went to venice beach and we were walking around and then we were like oh let's go get something for dinner so we went to go find something for dinner and these two dudes jumped out of this alleyway and they were like give me the money <laughs> so yeah the person that was with us and we were like oh my gosh what's happening they looked right at us me kevin and tj and they were like this doesn't concern you and we were like, oh my gosh, it feels like it kind of does concern us. This is crazy. Yeah. Well, because the one the one guy was saying, give me the money. And the yeah. other guy had his hand in his pocket, like in his hoodie pocket, yeah. giving us like the, the finger gun and saying like, he was get back. straight up like they're like. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was, yeah. It was like, get we back, get back. Having- it's not that, like we thought he had a gun. He could have had a gun. It's America. I don't know. I've been to America a few times. Everyone carries guns for all I know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he was asking us for them. I, at that point, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't carry any cash on me. Do you take card? <laughs> 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 We're like, ooh. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do we get but out of this situation? A, yeah. And then it, that lasts for a while. And then I feel like you kind of, you're the one that diffused the whole situation because it was really just a big misunderstanding between like what was happening. And you were like, hold on, let's yeah. just sort this out. And then they were like, okay. But we yeah, skipped so- past, past one of the parts. So when we were getting the original part where they jumped out and they had their hand in the pocket, 
yeah. I thought that they had a gun. Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, we're getting mugged. Yeah. I'm like, let's, I'm going to call the police. And he's like, he pulls out his hand from his pocket and he has his phone. And yeah. then he starts calling the police. <laughs> yeah. Like, what? What so, are you calling the police for? We're the ones getting mugged. <laughs> yeah, they jump out of the shadows, like yeah. very aggressively with their finger pointers in their pockets, yelling and screaming, <laughs> and then yelling, give me my money. And then they get onto the phone to the police. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks. No. And, and like, we have no idea what's happening at this time. So we are, we're the most confused we've ever been. <laughs> <laughs> he's like yeah i'm here on the phone um who am i with i'm with uh two white guys and uh and one asian guy <laughs> like, i looked at him i was like i'm actually half asian yeah. he looks back at me and he goes sorry he's half asian <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh there's another See, that was crazy so that's the crazy thing like what we're about to say like Everything that happened that we're about to say happened within like a day. Yeah. Like 24 hours from each other. Oh, we should tell them how they, uh, how that situation was, was re resolved as well. Oh, you do it. Well, it was because, yeah, it was because the guy had gotten like, thought he bought a cell phone and he couldn't get the cell phone to work properly. So he thought that he got ripped off buying a cell phone that he couldn't get to work because his cell phone provider couldn't activate it. So he thought he was yeah. getting like, he thought he was getting um, scammed. So that's why they came in so hot with uh, mm. the fake guns blazing. And, um, <laughs> and then once we like clued in that that's what the problem was that he had bought a cell phone that he couldn't get activated. I was like, yeah, just give him his $300 back. Like all of this over the price of a cell phone. Like this is crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we were looking at each other like, we'll give you the money. Just go away. It's like yeah, for yeah. a few hundred dollars. I thought it was like over tens of thousands of dollars. I thought I there know. was. I mean, the way they came on to us, it almost, it seemed like that. Yeah. But it was just over. It didn't like, seem like they just wanted three hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, it was like over the price of a a used cell phone. So we're like, okay. <laughs> yeah. You telling me this is over I, a cell phone? I would phone? be pretty pissed off if I'd be pretty pissed off if I got sold a phone that didn't work either. So, I would be. Also, I I would be. But I, I would wouldn't just... come out like, give me the money. <laughs> yeah. Excuse I would just be like, excuse uh, me. It seems like the phone does not work. Yeah. Is there any chance that I could uh, get the money back and you could take your phone? Yeah. Or I'd just be like, "Yo, can you uh, just show me how to activate this phone? Is there any? You yeah. Got any yeah. like tech? You got a tech tip? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, can I so, inquire a tutorial? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have any? Yeah. Can you point me towards the YouTube tutorial on how to unlock the phone? Um, yeah. And then we went and had dinner. And then we went. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, like. I wouldn't like while it was happening, it was pretty scary. But like if we went back to America and we like I wouldn't if we had to do that whole thing again, like the whole trip going to LA. Yeah. Like I would keep that experience in it because I think it's it's a good story and it's funny. It is. Yeah, and it's like it's like the it's an amazing it's like an experience that I'm sure in America happens all the time because people are so hyped yeah. and they're so like loud. Just jumping everyone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everyone's walking around so hyped on life, but in good and bad yeah. ways. So they're also, they're like the yeah. maximum happy, but then they're also the maximum aggressive if something doesn't go right. I feel like um, that's California. <laughs> I feel like not all of America is like that. Is probably not all, but yeah there's, california is pretty hype <laughs> like i want to go where, where else is more hype is there anywhere more hype can we handle that level of hypeness i don't like, what, know what about i've what, never been around that level of hypeness like what about Flor <laughs> like florida like southern florida i feel like stuff Ooh, goes down florida. in florida too stuff definitely goes down in florida have you done the florida man challenge <laughs> no. do you know who the florida man is um, I've kind of heard about the Florida man. It's kind of like he's the he does everything in Florida. Okay. <laughs> so basically, the Florida man challenge is you search up the like your birthday. 
Yeah. Like you're like, and then you search Florida man after it. <laughs> and, then you search it and it comes up with a bunch of headlines of the Florida man. And you can see what okay. the Florida man did on your birthday. Oh, I'm pretty sure cool. on my birthday, it's like, Florida man robs, like, Florida man robs local store using chair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Florida but, man does the craziest things. Yeah. Florida man <laughs> wrestles an alligator <laughs> over, like, yeah, yeah. over, like, uh, his, his, uh, a stolen sandwich. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Florida man, he's a legend. Right, let's get back to the LA story. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's go back to yeah. the the hype that so, we that's happened. This that happened. That was the start of the twenty first twenty four hours of crazy. Yeah. And then we went back to the hotel and we went to bed. Oh, we and missed the next morning. No, we missed uh, another crazy story that happened after that. Oh, that wait, did we? No, you tell it. I'm trying well, to remember what it was. Well, then we went to the beach and we were going to walk to the Santa Monica Pier and like en route there was like helicopters oh. flying up and down the oh, beach. Yeah. And, that's right and like, there was military helicopters just like doo, 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 doo. yeah yeah so we walked about uh 20 minutes to, and we found well there must have been like a dozen cop cars and ambulances and oh a yeah like a every boat. fire engine <laughs> yeah and a boat had capsized i guess out in the water and so they were doing like search and mm. rescue and yeah that was a that was not that crazy because it wasn't happening to us but it was a crazy thing no. to see yeah, just to see, like, to see a helicopter flying, like, that low to the ground, like, searching. Yeah. Like, that's I've never crazy. Se- I've never seen anything like that in Canada. I don't know if that stuff happens in New Zealand, but that was intense. I don't know. If it does, I've never seen it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that was two for two. But, yeah, what happened the next morning? And then we went back to the hotel and we went to bed. And then the next morning, me and TJ got up really early because we were going to take delivery of a Lamborghini that we rented. Well that i rented yeah, <laughs> yeah. david then, rented so you were still asleep yeah yeah but i needed tj there because you can't rent cars unless you're 25 mm-hmm. and i'm not 25 so i was like oh <laughs> tj <laughs> <laughs> and tj so got that yeah which is like a crazy dream like i've never the, the coolest car that i've ever been in is my friend's tesla i mean that's pretty cool yeah. like the car that i like i drive a honda crv so like the i'm it's always like a, i feel like everyone wants to be like experience a, like a car like that once yeah that's like that's yeah. something that you don't think is going to happen in new zealand you can't rent a lamborghini like or you can but it costs so much money like in america it's not that crazy i mean it's a lot but it's not like oh my god like <laughs> Yeah, no, like, uh, I feel like there's only a few places like, I'm, well, I'm sure there's lots of places to rent Lamborghinis, but it's, uh, it's not that common. Like, I'm sure if I was in, like, maybe you could in Vancouver, but a few major cities would have Lamborghinis just to rent. Um, but also, you I had a look found- in, in, yeah, yeah, I had a look in Vancouver. And okay. it was like, a lot of money to rent a Lamborghini for the amount of time we had us. Right. <laughs> like, that's where like crazy like compared to what we had <laughs> like, yeah. okay yeah there's ways around the craziness in america yeah you can make, you can make it happen yeah nice so we got that and we drove that around for like the whole morning and yep. we went and picked you up well yeah and yep. then our friend that was hang like that was crazy like driving around in a lamborghini like i didn't yeah <laughs> uh, that's insane yeah yeah and then the friend that we were hanging out with said that she had a connection with the guy that owns the house that the FaZe Clan live in. Yeah. So we're like, oh my gosh, are we really about to go to like, like none of this is planned. We're like, oh my gosh, should we, like, are we going to go to the Hollywood Hills right now and go to the FaZe house? Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> and then we did. <laughs> and then we did. In a, in a Lamborghini. <laughs> we drove the Lamborghini to the Hollywood Hills to the FaZe house. <laughs> yeah. And I, originally we thought we were just going to kind of walk around and spend like, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes there. Like just cause she, our friend knew like the people. So we did, we, we were there and we walked around. We ended up spending like four hours there. Yeah. We met like, the guy that owns the house. His name is Danny Hollywood Holmes. Yep. And he was super nice. He like really, he kind of just like 
how say, he kind of just like, like almost like became friends with us like real quick <laughs> yeah like i think he was uh he's he likes snowboarding and yeah. we had a mutual friend and uh he was just a I think he may have been on something as well. He was having a good time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this guy, Danny Hollywood Holmes, he owns all the houses that are up there. Yeah. Uh, like on that top level, he owns, like, this is knowledge, people know this. Like, he owns the house next to the Faze house, which is owned, which 21 Savage lives in. Yeah. Which is pretty wild. Anyway, he's he kind of took us for a tour, a tour around all of these houses. Then we went to another one, which is like the biggest house he owns. And they have this sw nice swimming pool there. And we're like, oh, TJ was kind of just talking. He's like, oh, man, I want to do a jump off the top of that. Yeah. And then I was like, hey, Danny, if we jump into the swimming pool, do you guys have towels? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we ended up swimming in the swimming pool and in the spa pool in like a $20 million mansion on top of the Hollywood Hills which with a Lamborghini in our possession for 24 hours. With, yeah. That and with right there is the craziest thing that's happened to me. <laughs> and we were also with like Danny, who is kind of like a, like uh, the typical kind of like what you would imagine like a Hollywood guy to be like, uh, he oh, was, yeah. he was like it. What's that guy? The, um, the, uh, is it is his name Dan Briz, Briz, Brilzarian? Dan Bulzarian? Yeah, he's yeah. like friends of Dan Bulzarian. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of like that sort of dude, like a guy that rolls around with like five girlfriends and owns like yeah, a yeah. bunch of mansions and just um, I don't know, probably takes like a private jet like around the world. Yep. So it was just weird being like it's not every day you meet someone someone like that. No. So that was an experience in it in itself, I think. Oh yeah, just how open he was with us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was that was really crazy. <laughs> man, Americans are hyped. Um I know. And, and then he, we Yep. I'm just trying to think what else happened with Danny. Well, yeah, it was I he, feel like we can't say a ton because it was nah. <laughs> it, it was <laughs> <laughs> like you can't say, yeah, you I, I don't know. I feel like he says it yeah. and he can, he says it on his Instagram and stuff, but I just, I don't want to repeat it because it's not my thing. It's not like, I'm not, about yeah, yeah, all that. Yeah. I'm not all about that stuff. I, and I don't, you're not really about it either, but he's about it. <laughs> and it's wild. He's about it. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's a wild guy. He's um, the craziest 60 year old I've ever met. Yeah. So we met this, we met the craziest uh, senior citizen that we've ever met. He was, he was, <laughs> I guess not. He's not sixty-five. He's like, right? he's like, check out this video of me snowboarding. It's just me going around in circles. <laughs> I was yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, but then the yeah. maybe the craziest thing then happened after that, or, or yeah, one of the craziest. Yeah, so we left. Yeah, we left this mansion in the Hollywood Hills. We went down to Hollywood Boulevard, like the Walk of Fame, whatever it's called, with all the stars on the ground. Yeah. And. Five years ago, I bought this mixtape off of this guy there, just on a family holiday. His name's Truth Serum. And I bought this mixtape because I, as, I bought it as a joke, pretty much. Because at the time, the biggest meme going around was like, oh, check out my mixtape. It's so hot. So I bought it thinking it was going to be trash. Yeah. And we listened to it, and it was really good, which was cool. Yeah. I was and like, we were... wow, I bought this mixtape for $2 off this guy. <laughs> like, and, and we were listening... I should yeah we were listening to the mixtape the whole drive up from la to to bear so me and tj got yeah. to like get the full truth serum um experience as well yeah actually i'll tell the whole story of truth serum because i couldn't really put it all into my video because it would be way too long yeah so i went to los angeles five years ago and we went to the hollywood walk of fame and i was looking to buy a mixtape over someone while we were walking down the walk of fame like so many people was trying to sell me mixtapes this one guy he came up to me and he was like hey want to buy my mixtape i was like hell yeah i want to buy a mixtape and the thing they do is they they pull out their cd and they sign it before they give it to you and they they sign it with your name they give it to you and then you're like oh thanks and they're like could i get a small donation I'm like, you've already signed the cd <laughs> like, so i went through a bunch of these guys trying to like 
and I knew the game after that. One of them was like, um, he's like, where are you from? I was like, New Zealand. He's like, no way, I've been to New Zealand. <laughs> and he told me he like, he's like, we have this um big concert in New Zealand called the Big Day Out, or we used to. He's like, I was at the Big Day Out. I was like, oh. you were probably just in the crowd, right? <laughs> like, you were right. Like, performing. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Anyway, we were walking down there, saw a bunch of people like that trying to sell me mixtapes. And then I saw this one dude who was chilling there with his Sony Walkman. And I walked up to him. He's like, hey, man, you want to like, support my music off the streets? And I was like, okay. He's like, he's like you want to hear some of it? I was like, yes. He takes the Sony Walkman off of his head and he puts it onto my head. He Whoa. presses play on like, the thing. And we're just standing there like this for a second. I was like, damn. Yeah. And this is what I said to him. I was like, is this you? <laughs> <laughs> like, nice. Like, is this you rapping? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> that's sick. And then nice. he did the whole thing where he signed the CD and gave it to me. And then I was like, oh, I kind of want to support this dude though. Yeah. All I have is two dollars. And yeah. I was like, all I have is two dollars, Mr. Truth Serum. Well, this is Truth Serum I'm talking about. And then he's, yeah. he kind of gave me the look like, <clears throat> I don't want your two dollars, but okay, I'll take it. Here you go. And I was like, oh, thank God. He gave me his disc for $2. So then I walk off, we listen to it, and it's really good. And then that's pretty much the end of that. Yeah. And then five years later, we go back on this trip, and we're walking down Hollywood Boulevard again. And I wanted to buy another mixtape. I, it, wasn't, it was kind of on my mind that I wanted to try to find Troop Serum, but I was like, oh, there's no way that's happening. It's been five years. Yeah. And then... And you've also been listening to Truth Serum for, for the last five years with your friends in New Zealand. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. He's like one of my favorite rappers. <laughs> nice. If not the favorite rapper. Yeah. And we're walking down Hollywood Boulevard. It's kind of a rainy day, so not a whole lot of people are out. Also, this virus stuff's happening. Yeah. <laughs> like, and I was like, oh, man, last time I was here, there were so many people sell trying to sell me mixtapes. I was planning on just buying the first one that came up to me and asked me for a mixtape because I wanted to buy a mixtape off of someone. And then we walk a few blocks. We kind of stop and we're like, ah, maybe we'll walk one more block. And if we don't see anyone, we'll turn back and we'll go. Yeah. <laughs> so we walk the next block and you pass him first. <laughs> He's like, want to buy a mixtape? <laughs> we see this dude and he asks you if you, if you want to buy a mixtape and you kind of like walk past kind of. Then I see him and I'm like, oh, I want to buy a mixtape. I at this time I didn't really know who it was because I don't know I guess I wasn't really focusing. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'll buy your mixtape. I don't care who you are. And then he he looks at me and he's like, I. Right. And then he flips the CD over. Like the CD has like the shiny part down, so you can't see what like the cover is. I'll go find. Wait. All right. It's like this. This is exactly what it looked like. He has the shiny part down like this. Like, hey brother want to buy a mixtape i'm like yes of course and then he's like that's like <laughs> he's handing it to me like this and it felt like it happened in slow motion man it was like <laughs> <laughs> and i saw it i was like no <laughs> no i look up and down at him like <laughs> proof serum and he's like yeah i was like <gasps> And I was like, oh my gosh, it is Truth Serum. <laughs> the first guy we meet. The o I feel like it was the only guy out there that day. The only and guy I, we like, I saw, I yeah. I don't think I've ever kind of like fangirled as much. And I'm sure he had, he was so confused as well because I'm sure no one's fan, like fanboyed that much to him. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's probably the first time it's happened, really. Like, I know. Yeah. It could have been the first time, yeah. Yeah. But so yeah, I, I was like pretty starstruck at the moment because he sold me this. And then yeah. we were kind of standing there. I was telling him about like how I met him five years ago and I bought this mixtape off him and he was pretty like stoked. And uh, how I showed how he's, I showed him to all my friends in New Zealand. And I was like, oh, he's probably more pop you're probably more popular in New Zealand than you are here, man. You should come to New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we spent that time. We I talked to him for ages. <laughs> Yeah, and I was like, ah, oh. and I, 
before that i always kept this um i kept this hundred dollars in the back of my phone case and i had that in there for like three years just i called it my emergency money because no one doesn't accept american money because yeah. you could use it anywhere and yeah. then i was like oh, i want to give him some money i don't have any american money maybe this is it this is what this is what god's been planning this whole time he's like put this hundred dollars in the back of your phone case yeah. And you know when to use it. Like, <laughs> like today's been crazy. The last twenty four hours has been crazy. Here you go, truth serum. Hundred dollars. Yeah. And he was like, oh, man, I really need. I really needed this. I got my family. And I was like, oh, I just want to support you. I want to support your hustle because I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you said that to him too. You're like. You don't understand. I, told him that, yeah. I love you, true serum. <laughs> yeah. I love you, dad. I mean, true serum. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was awesome. It was like a moment to behold, like watching it. Like I got my, I got my phone out to start filming. Like as soon as I kind of knew what was happening, I don't know how much like I yeah. caught, but uh, yeah, it was like a moment in time. It was like the universe all coming together to like take us on this crazy journey where we were gonna that's what yeah, it felt like you were gonna meet it really felt serum. like that yeah it felt like that whole 24 hours felt like the universe is just like here you go <laughs> yeah because it was one thing after, after another. everything happened yeah after like the first thing happened when we got mugged we looked at each other and we were like oh man nothing could get crazier than this yeah like we got after like we got the lamborghini i mean like it wasn't that crazy i mean we bought we rented a lamborghini yeah <laughs> it wasn't like it just happened yeah. We're like, whoa, this is crazy. Like, yeah. What else could get crazier than this? And then we went to the phase house and we met Danny. Like, yeah. there's no way anything could get crazier than this. <laughs> yeah. And we went and met Truth Serum. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, this is the craziest thing that's ever happened. <laughs> yeah. And like, even before that before, weekend, yeah. even before that 24 hours, like, we had a week in bear of just like amazing experiences too. Like, Oh yeah, everyone we met, like Skidmark, the guys at Tropicali. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, like uh, the you first... hit five hundred thousand. Yeah, you, <laughs> you hit three hundred. Yeah. Um, yeah. And also the you can hit the... five hundred thousand again. <laughs> I know. I got. <laughs> we'll get the sh- we'll get the champagne out again. <laughs> yeah, part two. Um, yeah, yeah. But even um, yeah, even the very first person we met at Bear was like the most hyped person I've ever met in my life. Um, who oh yeah, him. he came out of there. What was his yeah. name? Noah. Noah, yeah. Noah. Noah's watching this. What's up, Noah? He came out of like the ski thing. Like he walks out and he sees us and he's just like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. I've never had like a person notice us and react like that. Like it was crazy. It was amazing. Yeah. And that's why that trip was amazing. That w- I think that was the best snowboard trip just because the snowboarding was great. Um, but also yeah. it was all the experiences around it that just made it like those experiences of alone would have made it a great trip without the snowboarding. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. So the snowboarding was just an extra. <laughs> yeah. That was incredible. For me, it was just getting back into riding park, which also was really cool. <laughs> like, which is also perfect. Yeah. Um, but man, yeah, we're gonna, I'm like, even though we've been in quarantine for a month, I feel like once everything gets back rolling, we're going to have more trips like that. I can't wait. Oh it's, yeah. Every it's gonna, trip's it's going to get crazier. It's going to get crazier. <laughs> we, we, yeah. We got to. Although I, I kind of feel like it can't get any crazier. Yeah. That's just, what we were saying the whole trip. Yeah. <laughs> minus the, <laughs> minus the finger guns in the shirt. I feel like I think we're going to have crazier. Yeah. I think it could get crazier. Maybe, yeah, maybe not the universe aligning like the same way with true serum, but maybe in different ways. Yeah. Maybe other things will happen. Yeah. Yeah. With like I, other, I other feel people. like it can still get crazier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially with, um, yeah, with snowboarding too. Like I feel like everyone kind of runs in the similar circles. So then you end up seeing people or running into people like, like that day we ran into Toby McGuire or uh t- sorry toby miller t- toby mcguire <laughs> from, from spider-man from spider-man yeah <laughs> it's pizza time 
Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's going to be amazing. Um, David, before I go, let's do a couple questions because um, yeah, yeah. I uh, don't want to take up too much of your time. And um, but yeah, let's uh, let's, no, let's do a few questions. If anybody has a question for David, right. we'll hit up a couple questions. Um, fingerboard week questions will will probably be uh, considered first. But uh, yeah, shout out to everyone on the chat. I'll put a link after this video to uh, David's channel, his YouTube channel and uh, Instagram and everything to follow that and check out, check out the videos. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's see what uh, people are saying. Um, oh man, there's so many, so many comments. Uh, quick shout out to Eki Flecky for the, Australian support. Appreciate it, man. David, are you ever going to go to Australia? I think I will. That's nice. probably what's going to happen. Just like kind of um, going off of all this virus stuff. I feel like because in New Zealand, I feel like New Zealand's going to open up to Australia before anywhere else. Oh, okay. Just because we're like neighbor countries and we're like pretty similar. Like, yeah, we're like sister countries. We're like Canada and America. Yeah. Right? just a bit nicer to each other i think <laughs> yeah so i feel, I feel like... like we're gonna because op- people that live in australia can come and live in new zealand without any problem and people right. can go from new zealand to australia and live there without any problem like you don't need like to get some special you don't have to marry an australian oh no <laughs> 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 so yeah, yeah i feel like we're gonna open to australia first and then i really want to go to australia yeah, that'd be that'd I be think cool. I'm yeah, do a trip there. Nice. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, we forgot about Compton. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw the comment. I need this chair. <laughs> yeah, that was. It um... started off the whole trip. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Uh, yeah, that was well that that wasn't like one experience it was almost like a we were just soaking we were soaking in the the culture at that point i went from new zealand straight to compton (laughs) (laughs) Um, it was exactly what i thought it was there were police cars driving around (laughs) it was amazing it it was it was like gta in real life (laughs) uh jose bortista with the super chat um uh, Sean says, David, is your DIY board still rocking? Would you change anything or build another one? I think maybe they're talking about your DIY snowboard. snowboard yeah, I would. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's still, I still have it. It's like, it's the only board that I would save out of all of my snowboards if there was a fire. <laughs> because it's like, it's my, fi- I want to say it's my favorite board, but when I ride it, it's not my favorite board. Okay. <laughs> Just to have is my favorite board, but like the um, there's two differences that I would change. I made the mold. The mold didn't have enough rocker on the nose, so it was kind of too flat. That's okay. one thing I'd change. I'll give it a lot more rocker, and I would change the side cut radius because the side cut kind of went when it should be more smooth. Okay. And then if I do that, I feel like it would work better. Nice. But if you if you somehow found a way to only ride powder and not have to go on groomers then yeah. it works fine <laughs> yeah sweet and uh yeah ezra wants to know when are your tony pork decks gonna be restocked mm, i have no idea no idea. <laughs> wait no i do i do have an idea but like i'm not sure the time frame on it will you post it on your instagram Soon? when when you're in yeah will you like let people know on instagram you think that's like the easiest way for people to find out i mean yeah people if you want to know like i'll make it the known okay <laughs> you know if they're gonna come back out like i'll put it in my videos and stuff <laughs> yeah oh nice yeah um adam harms from new zealand from wanaka oh with, adam uh, what's up yeah it says how was it finding out david can't say water properly oh yeah from that video i'm sure adam can't say water properly either probably an even heavier accent he's from australia he definitely wait is he he struggles he's yeah from he's, from, right? he's from tasmania yeah yeah, so that's what I thought. Yeah, Adam str- struggles with it as, as well. It's probably, like, probably just like wow, wow. 
Yeah, if you guys haven't seen it, uh, was that in your video too, or is it just in my video? It's just in your video. Okay, yeah, David's ordering a, a water from a drive-through with a was it chicken yes. chicken nuggets or something? And and you're like, you gotta stay healthy when you go through those drive-throughs. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you're gonna get yeah. the Big Mac, you gotta get the water. <laughs> water, yeah. So it's water. Water. Or, and then it's like, and then. You know, you got to change it so Americans can understand you. Water, water, water. <clears throat> it's you got to spell it like W A D D E R. Yeah. Water. Kiwis and Aussies they don't pr pronounce the letter R. It's kind of like missing. Water. When I was in, when I, uh, I, the reverse happened to me when I went to Australia to live. I actually I had to drop the R on my water. Yeah. So people be like, water. What? What'd you say? <laughs> Oh, I mean, what's wh that, man? <laughs> what's that? Uh, what's wh a water? <laughs> what's a water? Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, uh, water? And they'd be like, oh, yeah. Oh, here you go. <laughs> this guy, um, the bearded snowboarder, says, I'm American and I, and I understood you perfectly. That's, per that's great. Thank you. No, <laughs> that sounded so It's like, um, it almost felt like, when you spell when you send someone a message and something's slightly wrong like you spell something slightly wrong what is that word i can't understand that word yeah <laughs> like, yes you can just you can make out what it's meant to say <laughs> like you, yeah if you can't, if your brain can't work that out there's something wrong with you but to be fair to the guy <laughs> it was like over the uh the intercom and um yeah it's oh, also yeah, it's like really fuzzy I think also it was maybe his first time ever hearing a Kiwi accent. Cause I think so. Yeah. Like <laughs> some people, some places, like they've never, if you never traveled there, there's not a lot, like there wasn't, didn't seem to be a lot of Aussies yeah. or Kiwis at bear. So could have been the first time hearing an accent from New Zealand. Probably. I actually got a message from that guy's friends on Instagram. Really? I forgot to reply to it. Then I went, wow. yeah, I went back to reply to it and it was kind of lost in like the sea of, so they saw messages. they saw the video and then messaged the guy from yeah. the intercom. Wow! And they're like, it's like the guy that was working at the intercom's friends, and they was telling, they told me like, like, oh, we're all making fun of him for not understanding. <laughs> <laughs> we got to go back there. <laughs> wow! Yeah, we do. <laughs> um, okay, one more question from Mass Mills it says: Any thoughts on coming to the east coast of the U.S.? Any desire to go back to the east coast, David? I want to go check out New York City. Yeah, same. If I go back to the East Coast, I just want to go hang out. I want to go see Matt again, just because okay. I haven't seen him in a long time. Nice. And uh, But honestly, I don't have a huge desire to go ride East Coast resorts. Yeah, it's kind of, it's, the quality is not the same. But I'm sure there's some like I've done, good I've spots. I've done that for like a bit. Yeah. I'm sure there's really good spots, like where Casey rides, current fear and stuff. Like yeah. that looks really good, but yeah, I really like the vibe of the West Coast, like Whistler down the whole coast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. One more quick question from Chuck Van says, "Hi Kevin, Yo David, dude, the alternative Davids. Oh, the alternative Davids in your videos, like the uh, yeah, my like videos, the, yeah, yeah. The, the like, are we gonna see more of them? By the way, we need more meme reviews." <laughs> any uh any characters sure, in the works i'm sure they'll i'm sure they'll make an appearance at some point nice i kind of just <laughs> i thought of the idea to add those characters in like the day i was meant to be posting my video nice man <laughs> i was like oh there's an idea i gotta go film it and then i went and did it and then i ended up posting my videos like way later than i wanted to okay <laughs> yeah perfect okay so, cool i'm not sure maybe there'll be maybe there'll be different characters who knows nice uh should i just make like a whole video of just me and my characters it's like a vlog but it's just me i'm playing every part of the vlog yeah kind of like the nutty professor kind of style <laughs> yeah i don't know if you've seen that movie but yeah no um, okay <laughs> uh oh, andreas has joined Andreas is joined, but uh, David, let me, uh, I'll let you go, man. Uh, yeah, it's been over an hour talking to you, but uh, oh, yeah, really? we'll, have to, we'll have to do this again oh, at some like point. Five minutes, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. <Of> course, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> um, but yeah, it was, yeah, it was awesome talking to you and, um, yeah, we'll put all the links to your stuff in the description. Um, big shout yeah, out to everyone you. for tuning in too. And, uh, yeah, yeah David, let's, uh, thank you everybody for watching. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And let's, uh, we'll be in touch and we'll, we'll, we'll get another hype, uh, trip in the works. That's right. All right. Sweet. Awesome. Bye, man. everyone. All right. Bye. <laughs> See you, David. Bye. <laughs> Later, guys. See ya.